Welcome back to the Chronicles of Mistara. This time we're going to be doing the Shadow over Mistara. And a couple things I wanted to clarify. First of all, sorry about that uh, video glitch in the last part. Um, I don't know what caused it. Uh, and second of all, the armor thing. Uh, the armor thing in D&D. Well, I guess I'll get into that once we play the get into our character here. And you may notice we have a bunch more characters now. Uh, this time, instead of playing the elf, who we've already played the fuck out of, we're going to play the... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll play the, the elf again. Why not? We don't get to name her this time, though, sadly. Help me! As you can see, the production quality is already, like, massively huge over the first game. We're fighting uh, goblins right away. And we also have combo moves, too. It's like, I don't remember what they all do. Ice Storm. Wow, we already got Ice Storm. <laughs> yeah, we already have, like, uh, a bunch of spells. The, the wizard... Um, the wizard you can play, his magic is even more bullshit. He has, <laughs> he has ridiculous amounts of magic. Okay, can we do the old shield thing? Yep. It's, I think it's pretty much the same sprite, just with more... more, basically. But anyways, I was saying about... Um, oh shit. Don't take the people, fuck off. Um, what was I saying about armor? The way I kind of... No, go away. I want my chest. No! <laughs> Fuck. Alright, let's name her the same thing. I don't... Arid... DL, I think it was. Something stupid. Oh, we can't do the whole thing. <laughs> well, we'll... Aradi, I guess. Um, her daughter. I don't know. A mighty name. No, let me take the... Fuck. Anyway, as I was saying about the armor. In D&D, armor isn't... It doesn't absorb damage. Like, the way I kind of imagine armor working is it blocks damage or absorbs it. Uh, whereas in D&D, it deflects it. And I've never really agreed with... That, or I guess that's what I mean. Like, it, armor should deflect damage, but in D&D, it... It's basically a dodge. It basically causes a miss. You know, you, you catch me? And that's not kind of how I think armor should work. Armor should work like, uh, you know, it should work. It should basically absorb or deflect damage. It shouldn't. Oh, my ring of protection. Okay, this is the game where the items break. Okay. <laughs> uh, which is stupid, but... Anyway, the, but the way it works in D&D is it, it evades the damage or causes a miss. And I've never really agreed with that. I, I've always thought that was kind of stupid. Like, dodging attacks should be off of dexterity, you know. It shouldn't be rolled up into one ability. Oh my gosh. Already we're dead. We didn't even go a level without dying. What was that item? I have no idea. I just wasted my magic missile. That's fine. Magic missile looks a lot better in this one, too. Like, the the effect for it is a lot better. It's not nearly as glitchy. <laughs> the continuing adventures of the lone elf Aradiel. Aradiel, or whatever her name is. I might have to make a D&D character named Aradiel now. A lightning bolt. You dare rise against us. Goblins, man. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna hate this already. Eat a lightning bolt, dickhead. Oh yeah, you can aim the lightning bolts now. Forgot about that. Yeah, this game is, like, infinitely better than the first game. 
don't get me wrong, the first game's pretty fucking great. But this one has a lot of improvements over the first one. Ow. Ice Storm. Like, the wizard, like, he has, like, twice as many spells as the elf does. <laughs> but he can't fight in melee with a shit. Like, at all. He's, he's very much a magic spammy bastard. I'm not done yet. Ow. I wonder if... I wonder if this game was... I, I'm guessing this game was developed in Japan. Because a lot of the voice acting sounds Jap like Japanese, like people trying to talk in English. I'm just spamming Lightning Bolt now. I think that was it. Yeah! <laughs> Dumbass. Goblins have never been particularly known for their intelligence. Let's just say that. Yeah, I should have played a different character, but that's fine. I mean, we might as well stick with what we know. Alright. The boat is actually quite funny, but I think we're going to travel by land. The boat is funny because it has this weird little mini game where you can like avoid monsters. All right. Oh yeah, this one. This is a fun little level. But goblins are basically. I think I mentioned in the Tower of Doom playthrough. Yeah, I kept saying Tower of Shadows, Tower of Doom. Uh, goblins are actually the. One of the weakest enemies in the game, next to Kobolds, and you can probably guess that just by looking at them. I think Kobolds win out in the level of sucky, in terms of being suckier <laughs> than Goblins. I think Goblins are a little bit better, but not by a whole lot. Maybe by, like, by a few hit points, or maybe slightly better equipment or stats or something. But they're generally not that good, <laughs> like at all. The thing about goblins, though, I, I think the main difference between goblins and kobolds is kobolds are better at making traps. Let me die. That's the second death. Third death, sorry. This game is a bit harder than the first game, I've noticed. I don't think I have a bow in this one. I think that's because the... Oh yeah, you can knock people down. I forgot about that. I, I'm going to look up a couple things real quick, so bear with me, folks. Oh, no. I think there's like, yeah, there's like, actual like fighting game moves in here. <laughs> that is a quarter circle attack. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah! Totally. It's like a fighting game move, you know, beat em up. That's kind of cool. Like a magical sword swing thing. Magic Missile still isn't... Um, eh, I think Magic Missile is maybe a little bit weaker in this game. Maybe. Oh, not these again. Fuck these. Fucking Hellhounds. As you can see, the, uh, the effects are way better. Ooh, I must be under the effect of a haste or something spell. Yeah, we all know the Hellhounds. Fire, fire breathing. You know, now that I think about it, Hellhounds are actually kind of tougher kind of D&D enemy, at least in regards to the handbooks. Oh, yeah. Stab it in your face. Ah, uh, eat it. Eat it in the face. That sounds wrong. I'm gonna use Ice Storm on these fucking hellhounds. Just fuck them. Ah, 
That is so cool that there's like a quarter circle move in a, this game. I play. I don't play a lot of fighting games. I play fighting games, but not professionally or anything. Oh yeah, you can only equip like two rings. I forgot about that. Stop picking up the ring. Jesus. Okay. Damn it. Okay, we're on our fourth life. Uh, probably that's going to get reset here in a bit because... Whoa! Okay, the reason this is called the Dark War is because technically this is a Baylor. Which is a type of demon. Actually, this might be a Pit Fiend. It's a type of demon, and demons are kind of... You know, this is back in the day when gaming was, like, tabletop gaming was like, oh, it's demonic and shit. It says demons and magic and blah, and it. it's like, you stupid. I never understand religious people in terms of geeky gaming. It's they, they're always afraid of things they don't understand. But as I was saying, you, you might notice the uh, coin counter is probably going to be reset. Because um, I'm going to be using the checkpoint system. Because I, I'm going to be going to bed soon. So, if you're wondering why I'm like on one quarter when I was on like five or six or whatever, that's probably why. But I'll try to remember like the amount of quarters I had in between videos so I can... Uh, so I can... Uh, what's the word? So I can uh, post it up there so, so we can keep track of like how many deaths I've had. <laughs> As you can see, I've already had like way more deaths in this game alone than the entirety of the first couple levels of Tower of Doom. So this game is harder. I'm not sure what kind of demon this is. I know it's a demon of some or a devil fiend thing of some description, but I, it's kind of escaping me because it doesn't really have a move set I'm familiar with for a, for a fiend. Usually fiends have a theme to them. Also I like how he has no junk, even though it's obvious he has a junk. Also yeah, when you die you can change your character now, which you couldn't really do in the original. Although they re do reuse a lot of the sprites. Fucking skeletons, just die. Please. Please, just die. I think we're just gonna peg him with magic missile and call it a day. Man, he just keeps raising skeletons, man. I defeated a demon, a greater demon with a magic missile. That's funny. That would never happen in D&D. And if it did, it would be the funniest shit ever. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, a level 3 short sword, whatever that means. Okay, so I have a ring of lightning bolts, and what is this bottle? Bottle of something? Bottle of a genie or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably won't have it in the next... N when you see me next, but... Eh, there's t plot, plot, no one gives a shit. Alright, next time we will be aboard an airship. This game is also a lot more cinematic, too. Ooh, drow. Sexy drow at that. Alright, until next time, guys. Until next time.